Hey guys, Johnny Nerd out. Today I want to talk about the CYC Photon motors. And I wanted to show how easy it is to take them apart and to service them now. Uh, I know for a while, this was back in 2023, I believe, 2022 even, I was pretty vocal on my frustration with how hard it was and difficult it was for the end user to service these things because it was kind of locked in. You couldn't replace the controller, you couldn't can replace the motor. But they've since changed that, mainly with this tool. This is the chain ring remover tool chain ring removal tool it's hard to say so essentially it just it fits right in here and this is 18 bucks you could get this at johnnynerdout.com you could get it anywhere but uh you know why not go to johnnynerdout.com uh and then this is gonna pop this off i'm gonna try to edit this together but uh this you know you're gonna loosen this off it's gonna pull the chain ring off so that you could get to the controller so i'm gonna go ahead and do that now Okay, this is now exposing this, and you want to just pull off this little sticker. You're going to want to use a two and a half millimeter Allen. You want to take a heat gun, and you want to hit around this corner here, pretty much all around here, just a little bit to heat that up. There's a gasket right here in this little tiny lip here. You probably can't see it, but there's a little gasket there. You just want to heat it up to kind of loosen it. And so I'm just going to do that. And be careful around these wires. I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter if you're replacing this, but if you're diagnosing it, you don't want to damage these wires. Okay. Now that that's hot, you want to take food grade spatula very important that it's food grade take it out of your kitchen and then you're going to want to just find a groove i don't know if you can see that you're going to want to find a groove and kind of get it in there sometimes it's easier if you find a corner and then take a rubber mallet and then hit the top of of the food grade spatula There we go. And then that should create a little wedge. And then you just want to work it, work it around. And you see that adhesive is pretty strong. So we'll take a little bit of finesse and don't want to force it too much. You might need to heat it up a little bit more. Because that adhesive is holding it pretty good. See, we got the controller out and there's just a little gasket here. We'll need to remake a new gasket in there. Um, so now we could, you have access to the controller. And if you need to replace the motor, which is just this part here, there's just four little bolts here. And then this comes out. And you can replace the whole motor here. So and that's most of the problems that you're gonna come with these photons. Sometimes you may you may occasionally come across like a torque sensor issue where it's the actual sensor in here. Um, that's a little bit more in depth, but I'd say 90 to 95% of any controller problems are gonna be controller based, which is, this is what, that's what you're gonna need to do. Put the new controller in, put a little silicone bead around here, a new gasket maker, and then just put this back in and put that bolt in, Bob's your uncle. If it's, that still doesn't fix it, it might be a motor issue. You just take these four bolts out, pop this out, and put a new motor core in, and then replace it. That's, that's, that's most of the repairs you're gonna need to do with these photons. So hopefully that helped you guys out. Um, if you guys have further questions with your photon, if you're running into problems with it, feel free to go to johnnynerdout.com, book a consultation, I'd be happy to help you guys out. Hopefully I just wanna do a little quick video on just how easy it is to repair these photon motors for 95% of the problems. For torque sensor issue, things like that, could be a little bit more, but that's a very small thing. All right, thanks a lot guys, have a good one.